Is buying your next home while owning your current home an option for you? That's what we're digging into today. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bryn Cook with Hearthstone Real Estate here in Eugene, Oregon. On this channel, I talk all about the Eugene area and give you some real estate tips along the way. In many areas of the United States, the housing market is leveling out a bit. That means that if you can afford it, now might be a good time to buy before prices go up again. Today, we're diving into the secrets of buying another home while still owning your current house. Whether you wanna purchase your next home to live in without having to sell your current home first, or if you're ready to expand your real estate portfolio, stick around. The first step in purchasing a new home while keeping your current one is assessing your financial readiness. This process will help you understand your financial standing and determine if you're prepared for the financial responsibilities of owning multiple properties. To begin, review your current mortgage, income, and expenses. Take a closer look at your monthly budget to understand how much you can comfortably afford for a new mortgage payment. Calculate your debt to income ratio, which is the percentage of your monthly income that goes towards your debt payments. Lenders often use this ratio to assess your ability to handle additional debt. Ideally, your debt to income ratio should be below 43%, including both your current mortgage and any potential new mortgage. In addition to your debt to income ratio, your credit score plays a crucial role in securing a favorable mortgage rate. Request a copy of your credit report and review it for any errors or issues that need to be addressed. A higher credit score can increase your chances of qualifying for a mortgage with better terms. If your credit score needs improvement, consider taking steps to boost it, such as paying off your outstanding debts, reducing credit card balances, and making payments on time. Beyond your credit score and debt to income ratio, it's important to have enough savings and emergency funds to comfortably manage two properties. Start by evaluating your savings. Determine how much you have to set aside for a down payment on a new home. Keep in mind that lenders typically require a down payment of 10 to 20% of the home's purchase price. Having a larger down payment can also help you lower your monthly mortgage payments. Additionally, establish or review your emergency fund. Owning multiple properties means having to handle unexpected repairs, vacancies, or other unforeseen expenses. It's recommended to have an at least three to six months worth of living expenses saved up in an emergency fund to cover an, any unexpected costs. Once you have a clear picture of your finances, consult with a trusted financial advisor or mortgage broker. They can guide you on your options and help you explore the feasibility of purchasing a second property. Now that you have assessed your financial readiness, it's time to explore various financing options that can help you purchase a new home while keeping your current one. Let's dive into some strategies that can make this possible. One popular option is leveraging the equity in your current home. Equity is the difference between the market value of your home and the amount you owe on your mortgage. By taking out a home equity loan or opening a home equity line of credit or a HELOC, you can tap into the value of your existing property to finance the down payment or even purchase the second home outright. There are several advantages to using home equity. First, it allows you to access funds without selling your current home, preserving your ownership and the potential for its value to appreciate over time. Second, since home equity loans and HELOCs are secured by your property, they often come with lower interest rates compared to other forms of borrowing. This can save you money on the, in the long run. However, it's important to note that leveraging home equity carries some risks. If you default on your payments, you could potentially lose your home. Therefore, it's crucial to approach this option with caution and ensure that you have a repayment plan in place. Another financing option to consider is obtaining a new mortgage for the second home while keeping your existing mortgage on your current home. Depending on your financial situation, you may qualify for various types of mortgages, such as conventional loans, Federal Housing Administration or FHA loans, or Veteran Affairs Loans, or VA. That is, if you're a qualified veteran or active duty military personnel. Having multiple mortgages can provide flexibility in managing your finances. You can structure the loans to meet your specific needs, such as opting for a shorter term or adjusting the down payment amount. It's advisable to consult with a mortgage broker or a lender who can guide you through the process and help you find the best options available to you. If leveraging home equity or obtaining multiple mortgages doesn't align with your goals or financial circumstances, there are alternative financing options to consider. 
For example, you can look into private lending or partnerships where you borrow funds from individuals or pool resources with others to make the purchase possible. These options may require more extensive research and negotiation, but they can provide alternative pathways to financing. Another important aspect to consider is the potential rental income from your current home. Turning it into a rental property can generate additional cash flow to support your new investment. Before diving into the rental market, it's important to conduct thorough research and assess the rental demand in your area. Consider factors such as location, market trends, and rental rates to determine the potential income you can generate from your property. If the rental market is favorable, you can start by advertising your property through various channels, such as online rental platforms, local listings, or real estate agents specializing in rentals. Now, managing a rental property can be a significant responsibility. It involves tasks such as tenant screening, property maintenance, rent collection, and handling any issues that may arise. If you prefer a hands-off approach, hiring a property manager can be a viable option. A property manager will take care of all of the day-to-day -day operations, including tenant management, property maintenance, and even rent collection. They can also help ensure that you comply with the local regulations and handle legal aspects related to the rental properties. Alternatively, if you choose to manage the rental properties yourself, it's essential to establish a system to stay organized and streamline the process. Here are a few self-management tips to consider. Number one, set clear rental policies and screening criteria to attract reliable tenants. Two, keep detailed records of income and expenses related to rental properties for tax purposes. Three, Establish open and effective communication channels with your tenants to address any concerns promptly. Four, plan for regular property inspections to ensure proper maintenance and identify potential issues early on. When evaluating financial viability of rental income, it's crucial to consider cash flow generated by the rental property. Cash flow is the amount of money left after deducting expenses such as mortgage payments, property taxes, insurance, maintenance costs, and property management fees, if applicable. Ideally, you want to achieve positive cash flow where the rental income exceeds the expenses. Positive cash flow not only helps cover the costs associated with the current home, but also provides additional funds to support the purchase of the new property. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that rental income can offer tax benefits. Consult with a tax advisor to understand the specific deductions and advantages available to you as a landlord. Common tax deductions include property depreciation, repairs and maintenance expenses, and property management fees. Remember, it's essential to conduct thorough research, seek professional advice, and create a solid financial plan before making any decisions. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check out the other videos here on my channel. I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to contact me with any questions. I work hard to stay connected. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join me for my next video. Thanks so much for watching.